So when you're doing your birthday decode, you want to know who was born and passed away on your birthday. So a famous October 23rd birthday would be Ryan Reynolds. Um, that would make him a Scorpio set in Virgo Hathor. So look up set for your 12 sign God and then Hathor for your 13 sign goddess. Because I use a 12 sign chart and the side wheel chart. Then you're a water and earth sign. So when you're traveling in astral realm, you probably travel with other water signs, earth signs, and anyone representing Scorpio in um, Virgo. He played in Amityville Horror as the dad um, Lutz, George Lutz. And um, so whenever you watch Amityville, just know your energy is connected to that. Also, Amelia Clark, she played in Games of Thrones and other movies. Definitely connected to Game of Thrones because her birthday is October 23rd. So whenever you see actors and actresses, book writers, script writers, anybody in the entertainment industry, songwriters, singers, listen to their music, go watch their movies, figure out if you see your energy in their energy. A lot of times people write scripts and they're downloading a character. That character is based off that person. That person has a birthday. It's usually connected to the person who also has that birthday like you. Think of the astral realm or the dream realm or the purgatory in between life as um, the escape room. So in the escape room, you want to find the best team members. So you can press pause and read, and these are some of your team members that you can go into and see if you would like on your team. For example, if you see like an old slave owner, you might not want them on your team. If they have a whip in your dream and they're a slave owner in a decode of yours, you might want to stay away. But if there's someone cool you might like, you definitely want to help them through purgatory or through astral realm or in your dream, talk to them. A lot of time, religious people like to talk to you because they want to find out information. Um, celebrities want to download your information to play your character. So be wary of who you are talking to in your dream. If you're a lucid dreamer, dreamer you know what I mean. So again, um, interesting people, Ryan Reynolds, like we talked about, Weird Al Yankovic, Amelia Clark, Armani Jackson, Pelé, famous soccer player in Brazil, Megan McCain, John McCain's daughter, Johnny Carson, Belle Def, um, Delphine. Again, press pause and read. Look into everybody on your own because I'm doing a mini birthday deco, but you need to di dive deep. Any familiar spirits might be spirits you see in your dreams. Celebrities people see because they recognize celebrities. Some more people that were born on your birthday, press pause and read. Um, Ireland Baldwin, you know, the um, Rust actor, Alec Baldwin's family. You have um, these people right here. Mr. Eric, Michael Eric Dyson, Project Supreme on YouTube. Just press pause and read. Like I said, when you're dreaming, when you do your birthday decode, you might recognize people that you might not have known had your birthday. And now that you know they have your birthday and you're, you're subconscious, you're consciously seeing, so your subconscious in your dream could find these people and figure out who you are traveling with. It's like a boat. Y'all are on it. So here are some more people born on October 23rd. Martin Luther King III, um, Martin Luther King's son, Amanda Stilberg, or Dunberg. Um, she's in a lot of movies. Check her out. Of course, press pause and read. Go into it yourself because this is just the starting point, but there's some important people. So look up St. Ignatius Loyola. Um, the Jesuits, they do a lot of numerology, gematria. A lot of the whole rituals they have is based on this whole crew of um, this guy right here. Check him out. That's your homework. Everybody else, um, Robert Trujillo, um, Sanjay Gupta, um, again, you're in the escape room. These could be your potential um, partners in crime. You know what the escape room is, right? We have to figure out all the riddles to get out. This is what it is when you go to sleep every night. In order to save your family members, save yourself, you need to know how to captain your own ship with your ship is your birthday. Um, here are some more people that are born October 23rd. Press pause and read and go into the ones that seem familiar. Press pause right here. Check out more people born October 23rd. Baron Hilton, he's like the Hilton you know, Hilton Hotels, there's the Heisman, like the Heisman Trophy, Gummo Marsh, reminds me of Karl Marx. Um, again, press pause and read. You're inside of a, an escape room. Who do you want to see? Who do you want to talk to? There was a lot of interesting people, so here's some more. Miguel, Nancy Grace, um, all these people right here are part of the October 23rd decode. So again, press pause, see if you um, understand some of these people, if you know some of these people, if they look familiar. And when you dream tonight, then you know who is in your realm. Here are some more people born October 23rd. Press pause and read. You have DJ Khaled's son on top right here. Um, you have this model who modeled for like Fenty Beauty. Um, I see this name Pickney come up, up a lot like what? in history. So look up that guy. Again, press pause and read. If any of these people seem familiar or you recognize them in your dreams, you know why. So when you're doing your dream journals, every day you might recognize some of these people because some of these people um, might have passed away on the day that your dream was. 
For example, July 31st, say Ignatius Loyola of Loyola passed away. So if you go to sleep on July 30th, July 31st, around that time, five to 10 days of the birthday window, and you see this face, it's because he was born on your birthday. So you also see people who are born on your birthday a lot when they've passed away because they're leaving and they're in their cross portal, if that makes sense. Also, whenever I do dream, I keep a dream journal and every night that I wake up on the morning, I see like if I recognize anybody who passed away or died on that specific day. For example, um, today is March 17th, March 16th, right? It's about to be St. Patrick's Day. So I would look up who has been born and who died on March 16th and 17th. And then I would see if I recognize them from my dream. A lot of times I do, and it's usually based because it's something connected to my portal. Also, you might see one of your family members born on July, in July in your dream as a medium as well. So you might see your person, um, your auntie who, who was born July 31st and she's in the dream and so was he. It's just to tell you, to remind you like, hey, someone in July is there that has to do with your birthday that needs a message to be told or they're trying to channel you, if that makes sense.